going on sup tony sounds and looks good here <laughs> i don't even think i went live yet before you said that kent but for real being for real please let me know if you guys hear me and if you see my beautiful daughter maya Type in the chat really quickly, guys. Let me know if you hear me and see me. Yes, you did. What's up? Great, 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 great. I know the, see the only, the only prop, thank you, Sterling, loud and clear. What's up, Francis? What's up, Kent? He said, hi, Maya. Mm -hmm. Heard and seen, all good, see ya, hear ya. I see your beautiful daughter and I don't know about you, big dog. <laughs> Perfect, says Tony Garcia. Yeah, it works, come on, like this, guys. Yeah, guys, smash the like button, man, what's up? T tell, them to tell them to hit the like button. There's zero? No, there's eight. Oh, oh, there's eight. How many of there are? 40 people watching. Just, See, you haven't been on the YouTube for, for a long time and you forgot how to look no, at the screen. No, I did not. So tell them. 10. All right, so let's do some shout out Where's really quickly for 30 seconds. Um, Danny, I see you. Marcus, I see you. Francis, Lewis, Genesis, AKA Mr. Kent, smash the like. JD Power, Mr. Reyna, CO2 Treasures. Jeremy Wilson, I just got started spraying metallics and I got a moldy look. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some tips. Now, I'm gonna give you some role play tips tonight, all right? Because if I start, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna start painting tonight because I won't be able to explain to you and we'll just literally fumigate ourselves right now. But I'm gonna give you some tips that you can take home and use the next time you spray any kind of metallics. I never have any issues with metallics. And there's a couple of reasons why you have issues with metallics. All right. What's up, Hank Scott? Hi, Maya. Yay. So she's getting big, right? Look how big she's getting. She's getting big, and I'm just staying the same. Look, uh, yeah. And maybe I'm maybe I'm getting a little older. What's up, Eric? Not moldy. Yeah, I know I know what you called. I know I know what you're saying. Uh, you and your daughter match tonight. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We're wearing the same clothes Mine here. Mine blue, though, if you see it close. Hey, Kansas City. I joined the F1 Academy back in 2016. I'm getting back into it, but original. Please open up a support question at um, – you're shrinking, Tony. I'm sitting down, bro. <clears throat> Uh, just open up a support ticket at the support center and the girls will take care of you. They'll get you logged into the new membership site. We moved over like two months ago to a brand new membership site. All right. So quickly, um, let me get into this quick. Yeah, time goes fast. All right. So let's get into it. I'm going to be kind of going over the panel here, kind of showing you, right? Um, using the Atom X27, brand new model, hasn't hit the stores yet, but I'll keep you posted when it does. Beautiful spray gun. It is a pretty much clone of the SADA 5000 spray gun, and um, you guys are going to love it. So, when you're spraying, when you're doing your regular painting, right, let's see if we can get a better angle. Um, I'm just going to go like this a little bit more. I'm just going to do a quick demo on the car here because it's all down. It all comes down to pattern flow besides your mixing ratio being correct. It all comes down to your, your flow distance from panel and how you spray with metallic. This car is a metallic. It even has, um, flake in it. All right. So when you're doing your regular painting, maybe I should come over a little bit more so you guys can kind of see the when you're doing metallic painting guys let's see how we're looking all right looks like we're okay so when we're doing regular painting we're painting like this right you could even paint metallics like this 
right? You go over your panels, you do your base, this mirror shouldn't be here, right? We're covering, we're painting like this, right? So you can go around the car two times like that if you're doing a complete paint job. And on your last coat, right, what I like to do is dust it. So you can up the pressure one to two PSI. This is the trick. Up the pressure one to two PSI, and then you just go like this. You spray farther instead of being four to six inches away from your panel. You bang it out to 10 to 12 inches away from your panel. You up the PSI one to two pounds. So instead of spraying base coat at about 26, 27, now you're at 29 PSI, and you're going like this. Okay, across the whole car. You're just going like this. Okay, you follow the fender and you just paint like that. For the hood, for the hood, what you do, for the hood, what you do, after you're spraying, after you're spraying your car, so say you start here, right? You get to the middle of the hood, you pick up on this side, you finish it off, right? What I like to do is basically up the PSI and then come this way, lightly, over it, and then just pick it up on the other side and crisscross it. That will do it. I'm telling you, I've sprayed metallics for many, many years. Never had an issue with tiger stripes. All right, guys, so that is the trick. And if you spray like that, you're not going to have any issues with metallics. So hopefully you like that. Was that helpful? It's really simple. It's really, really simple. Just up the pressure. Back it up, cross your pattern, and you're not going to have an issue. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of jelly looking at the gun and regurgitating X21. Uh, the X21 is a great gun, man. You're you're gonna like it. Um, can you do a video on how to paint the car that's been keyed? Um. That's been keyed. Well, you literally just got to sand it out. You could put some spot putty in it, block it, and then base and clear it. It's pretty easy. Guys, see if this, link's work, see if this link works for you. I'm inviting you to the pub. It should be a good page. Let me know if it's a 404 page or if you're really getting to the pub. Go there, go there guys. It's the learnautobodyandpaint.com pub forum. There's a lot of people. We have about 300 members signed up already. Um, so if you want to learn auto body inside of a private style forum where you can post pictures, share your story, interact with other people, go there. See if this link is working. It goes to the pub. Great. Just want to make sure because we've been having issues with the links in here. Maybe this one doesn't work because I copied and pasted it. See, if I type it in, it's fine. But if I copy and paste it, it doesn't work. So what kind of overlap on metan metallic? 75. I say you could do 50 on both coats and on the last coat you can do, you really don't have to do 75. I've never done 75% overlay on metallics, never. So, I mean, you could try it if you want. I've never had that issue. Always on the final coat, if you're doing touch-ups and little fenders and repairs like that, you just back it off, up the pressure and just dust it. It's basically, you're just dusting the panel crisscrossing it. That's the trick. It's a simple trick and it works. Never had an issue. Unless you're spraying single stage with very, very heavy metallic, big metallic. I'm not talking about fine micro sequence metallic like most of the, most of the cars. Then you're going to have to do a 75% overlay. And this is with single stage paint. But 
who the heck paints single stage anymore? Hardly, hardly anybody paints with single stages um, unless they're super cheapo jobs, but it is what it is. Mostly everybody paints with base coat, clear coat systems. Um, should you put a light coat on first? If you want to, you don't have to. Jesse Rosso, you're probably using uh, Yahoo Mail. We're having an issue with Yahoo Mail. So maybe uh, use, um, use uh, Gmail or something else. Yep. So, I mean, just like Jeremy said there, it's just the coverage. You got to make sure you coverage, you cover, and you're good. So how's everybody doing tonight? So I have, has anybody seen the recent videos that I posted? I got a ton more videos going to be coming out uh, at least once a week. So be sure to check those out. And all of the videos coming out on the Daihatsu, we have 15 about 15, 25 minute in-depth videos that are in VIP for the Daihatsu project. They're already in there. I have to finish up about two more to complete the project and that's it. It's literally like, I don't know how many hours of content, but it's, it's super in-depth and I hope you guys, uh, hope you VIP guys are going through it. Awesome guys, awesome, awesome, awesome. So what else? Um, this week, Saturday, we're going to be doing a another photo shoot with some of the cars here. I have the little mini bike on the Die Hot. So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but uh, you guys can find me on Instagram if you look at the Tony Ritchie. I should just post the link here. But if any of you are on Instagram, just type in the Tony Ritchie. You can see some of the pictures that I posted today in video. Um, let's see. Oh, how do you, okay. So I'm going to send the link to learn all body and paint.com, but guys join the forum. Yeah. Mr. Vega saw it on IG. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. If you want to learn more about VIP guys for the newbies on here, just go there and then click on VIP at the top navigation. It'll tell you, it'll show you more about VIP guys. Guys, hit the like button. If I tell you to hit the like button, you guys don't do it. But I think if Maya does it, I think if Maya tells them Wait, to hit people? 70, 70 people, 70, 70 people. people. So 70 people should be hit, hitting the like button. That's so sad. <laughs> well, isn't it? Yeah, she's on my creeper here. My carpeted creeper my dad actually customized that years ago man that that creeper is got to be that creeper is probably 2000 old 15 years old that creeper only two people did that creeper is 15 years old oh, it's not that old how many else francis check out um francis i know you're a vip check out the project in VIP. The videos are there. I just have to do the buffing video series tonight and I have to do the um, bed liner. Dude, you Paul Raptor liner is freaking awesome. I love it. I love you Paul Raptor liner. I would definitely recommend it. If you guys are looking to do a very hard rubberized coating for like under the car or bed liners. Oh my God, it sprays out. I used a lot more and I, and I, I really underestimated how much I was gonna use. I thought I was gonna get away with two quarts. I actually used three quarts of the Raptor liner to, uh, to cover my little bed. The little mini truck bed took three quarts. And I realized it's you use so much more because it's so thick, right? You're spraying it on. You're using a lot of material is coming out in a small space, and you're using a lot because it goes on thick. You're putting so much on. With the nozzle, I tested the nozzle, 
because you can screw the nozzle in and screw it out. And I mean, you're literally spraying maybe two and a half inch passes. So you got to do the passes very frequently. You know, you got to do a lot of passes just to cover, but it sprays on really thick and one heavy pass does it. And I had to go back. You know how the, the a bed has, has uh, ripples in it, right? So I had to go one side like this and then pick it up and do this side so I can get the other side of the, the, uh, the textured ripple. What the hell do you call that? Um, corrugated. Is it corrugated? Is that the word I'm looking for? People paint their entire truck here. Yeah, I've actually seen an entire Jeep done with like a wrap or liner type of thing but i will say that that stuff comes out really great please shout out bronx new york what's up bronx in the house yeah it is super thick and i like it i really like it bro who is disliking one disliker well there's always going to be the haters so whatever it's all good uh, what's the best buffer and compounds that you use great bang for buck well manuel Honestly, I've been using the same buffer for about <laughs> since I was 17. So 20, for almost 20 years, I've been using the same buffer for almost 20 years. So I don't, you know, I just say go out, buy a good buffer and it'll last you. I have a snap on one and I have a Hitachi that work perfect. So here is my Hitachi variable speed buffer. And this is good when you're using the wool pads, right? Or the foam if you want to. But this, these styles of rotary, high-speed rotary buffers will really kick ass for you and really buff out 2,000 uh, grit sand marks, 1,500 grit if you really want to. But I always recommend sanding, uh, buffing over 2,000 grit. You know, get it that extra. Some people say 2,500, but 2,000 is good enough. You could completely buff over 2000 and make it look like a like mirror right um these i think they're like 200 under 200 literally i had to get rid of some when i moved here um i use auto magic compounds and what i do recommend now is using an orbital right da style buffer for final final finishing to get rid of swirl, swirl marks. So something like this, I picked up the torque recently a few months ago and it really does help in getting the swirl marks out of the paint, you know, because you could, you could literally buff with the wool pad. And I used to finish with the, with the foam pad on the rotary and it would look really good, but on darker colors, you could see some, swirl marks but if you use the da style it literally it really makes it nice it sucks because you got to have two different types of buffers but if you want to get that freaking showroom gloss that people are like oh my god then get it you know it's only it was only 150 bucks came with some testing uh some glaze compound and you could also buff out 2000 with that but it takes a long ass time and a lot of elbow grease i did a youtube live on it a few maybe a month and a half or two months ago on, on that. And it's a long process. I have higher quality video of that whole process in VIP as well. Uh, wouldn't using a blue swirl remover compound hit, help get rid of those? Yes, it will. But if you're using a rotary foam, I noticed you can't completely take it out. It, you'll get very close. But if you're anal, you know, if you're like some of those anal dudes that you see like three or three little, three little, uh, you know, hairlines, then you're going to want to get the DA style. Um, Morgan, thank you. I've got feather filled now painting tomorrow. Awesome. Torx underpowered. My Harbor Freight DA performs a lot better. Hey, Harbor Freight has some good stuff. I, I picked up a $20 Harbor Freight DA years ago, and this freaking thing, I put it through water because sometimes I wet sand with it. You're not supposed to, but I do anyway. And the freaking, it's still going. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, what's the orange car in the back? 
orange car in the back is a Lambo. Right there. Oh, dude, I got a, I got, I got another Miata at the auction and look what it had. It had a Borla exhaust system in it. So I just ripped it out and I'm going to put it in my little Miata here. But this is, uh, this is my Lambo. It's pretty cool. Just sitting, just here in my garage. Uh, anyway. All right, guys. How many newbies on here never been on live before? I like your Miata. I have a 92. It's primo. Ran Ward, do you have a hard top for it? Dude, I love Miatas, man. Some, some of my friends used to tease me when I was in my younger days that I had a, a girl car, but I don't care. <laughs> so we got Sean Smith, Danny, David, April 89, newbie, Jesus, no hard top. Well, you could get, if you hunt around, you can get a hard top for 700 to 1,000 bucks. I love the hard top, so I have a hard top. I'm gonna be spraying that uh, gloss black like next month. So I have the paint, I already got the black. Um, we're gonna be doing the mirrors, gloss black. Now I already peeled off my Plasti Dip off this side here. You can see that. I Plasti Dip them just for fun. Today, new VIP first time. Awesome, Charles. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, so we're going to sand this down. It's, it's gold right now, so we're going to sand them and do them gloss black. I tested doing uh, flat black as a Plasti Dip just to see, but I don't like flat. I actually, I like gloss. When I do paint jobs, I like to see gloss. I'm a glamour kind of guy. So we're gonna be glossing that, and then I got the hard top right here. Let me show you the hard top, guys. Dude, Miatas are awesome. I actually like the second gen um, a lot, but the reason why I like the first gen is because it's first gen, man. And there's my hard top. It, it looks black, but it's actually the same color. It's the green. I'm gonna be making that black, and our mirror is black, and I'm gonna record everything step-by-step step for you guys so you guys can see how it comes out. Um, it's actually kind of going to look like the Lambo. The Lambo has a black top. This is called the Bicolor Lambo. It's a special edition. They only made, you know, a certain amount with the whole black like this as original. You know, I didn't paint that top. It, that's original. So I was thinking, you guys think I should do this rail black too on the Miata? Should I do this rail black or just the top and the mirrors? I was actually thinking of copying the Lambo and doing the rail black as well. You can see how the rail on that, you know, and this is green. You let me know, what do you think? What's up, Hawaiian? Got a fellow Hawaiian in the house. Hawaiian, hit the like button, man. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna be repainting my 77 formula. I need watching your videos, very helpful. Awesome, Sean. Um, thank you, Jose. It's easy to color match and blend metallic silver. Is it easy to color match and blend metallic silver and black? So the black would blend into metallic silver? So you wanna blend, I've never done that blend, Jeremy. That would be, a, that would be an interesting blend. So you want to blend, you, you basically want to have a silver paint with black, turning into black. That would be interesting. We could probably test that on the fender. I could test that on the fender for you because I have metallic and black. I have uh, flat black and metallic silver. Do the rail black. Paint, yes, both. Painting the rail would look awesome. So I'll do that, guys. I will paint the rail black and the hard top black and the mirror is black. And we'll put it together and see how it looks. See, this is the cool thing about auto body and paint and doing things yourself is, if you don't like it, sand it down and shoot it again. I can't tell you how many times 
I repainted car, my own cars because I didn't like the way it came out or I didn't like the color many times. Yeah, it takes hours and hours and hours of prep work. But the second paint job is usually quicker because the body work's done. You just basically got to sand it down, get it nice and sanded, and then just respray it. So it's easier to respray the second time around always. Um, dude, I had a 1969 Buick Riviera when I was 17 years old. That thing was a pimp baller car, dude. I don't want to. Imagine having a 69 Buick with silver metallic flake, black tinted windows. It was all black inside. It was a killer, dude. I have to look up some of the pictures. I have it. Um, anyway. How many days do you have to wait to watch the mini truck series? Hi, Din. It should be available in your members area right now. Do you do go live on specific days? Okay, guys, I go live every Thursday night, 8 to 8.30 p.m. Central. So it, sometimes it could be 8, sometimes it could be 8.30, sometimes 9 o'clock. All right, so let's just say 8 to 9 in that area. All right, um, if you're on my email, I send you guys an update email saying, hey, we're about to go live. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for post notifications. When I go live, it'll tell you, boom, I'm live. Is there any advantage to using 3 8 air hose fittings as opposed to quarter inch? Nope. It's not going to make a difference. Quarter inch is plenty. Unless you want to use your air chuck to blow out and you're just, you know what I mean? Unless you just want to use the 3 8 fitting to blow your shop out with all the air in your compressor, that's when you're going to need all that air. But for a paint gun, a quarter inch is plenty. Um, your daughter always makes, ask your daughter, she always makes the right decisions. How many VIPs in the house tonight? Quickly, before I leave, how many VIPs here? I want to give some shout outs to VIP members quickly. Um, and then I'm also going to paint this gas cap. It was gold. I'm going to paint it black. I don't like the gold. I thought the gold would look good, but it ended up kind of looking too much after doing pieces. Um, woot, woot, all the way from Manila. Are you still using the Breath Cool Fresh Air system? No, because I don't like the hood. It sucks. I would rather a mask. So if I get myself a mask soon, I would probably... Go ahead and try test that, but I still have the system here. Um, I started following IG. Hit me up. Who's this? Oh God. Hit me up at 915. Just send me a message. 92 Nissan Sentra. Send me a message in IG. What kind of gun should I get for my first time getting a clear coat gun? Man, Jeremy, you already know what I'm gonna say. You could spend over a G if you want for a SADA, or you can wait. Or you could pick up an Atom X20, very, very good gun, at Zula.com. Or wait about two months for the Atom X27, which is a clone of the SADA 5000. Genesis VIP. Paul, VIP here. John, VIP. VIP from El Paso. 92 Nissan Sentra. Hit me up on IG. VIP from, see, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it my way, man. Kalamazu. I'm going to say it my way. You guys, <laughs> until one of you can tap me on the shoulder in a coffee shop and say, Tony, you dumbass, this is how you pronounce it. I'm going to keep saying Kalamazu, man. People are going to look at me like, God, man, you're a retard. Rand Ward, VIP. Great to see you. Hank Scott, thank you for tuning in. Kelvin Roberts, VIP. Sterling, VIP. A lot of VIPs on tonight. Thank you guys for getting on. You guys are freaking awesome. I'm going to turn VIP already and stop being cheap. Snoopy, I think you're making a wise choice. I am one. James Ferguson. 
uh, giveaway giveaway. Maybe next time, guys, we'll do a giveaway. But, guys, let me give you the link to the pub. If you are not on the pub, sign up to the pub. It is a free form for everybody uh, to talk all about auto body and paint, man. And you could post pictures. Oh, shit. Kent is there. He's one of our top moderators. You can sign up, guys. Sign up to the pub. It's free. Bunch of auto body guys in the community. We're posting projects. Just some awesome looking freaking cars in there. Like, I'm like jealous. There's some nice cars in there. Um, people working on BMWs, classic cars, you name it. Um, and we, we just want to grow the community. We want to have the, the coolest auto body forum on the internet. So join up absolutely free. Introduce yourself, share your story, upload pictures of what you're working on. And um, we are looking forward to see you there, seeing you there. VIP for seven days. Welcome, Ray Gomez. I hope you are liking VIPs. So many VIPs and only 59 likes. Yeah, dudes, smash the like button, man. God. Thank you, Snoopy. You don't put flakes inside the clear. The base coat should have flakes in it if it's a metallic. Yes, Jeremy. But you could put flakes in intercoat, which is a DBC 500 clear base coat. I recommend newbies to go that route. And we actually went that route when spraying the pearl on the Daihatsu project. So I break all of that down for you as well in VIP. And if you're confident with the spray gun, and if you know how to lay your clear coat without getting runs, you could put flake in your clear coat. And that's what I did with this Miata here. It is a, I don't know if you could see the mini flake in it. The car is a little dirty, but there's mini flake in this paint job that I just mixed in with my clear coat. And because the flake is so fine, you don't have to lay just clear coat over it. You could just spray two coats of clear, have a little bit of mini flake in it, and it it looks freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys can see it, but maybe in my previous videos you could see it in the sun or whatever. But um, anyway, um, anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for hopping on tonight. I know it is Thursday night. Tomorrow, my daughter surprised me and, and said she's off of school. I didn't know she was off of school because I was ready to tuck her in before I came on live with you. And um, she's like, Dad, I have no school tomorrow. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, right, the holiday. So she's over here now, 930 at night, hanging out in my shop. So Maya, say bye to everybody. Bye. You have anything to say? Um, you like, do that thumbs up thing. Um, yeah. Hank, Jesse, you need to spray high solids clear over the flake like three coats and send it down to four to six hundred then clear over that to get a smooth surface. So yeah, Hank Scott is really awesome. He does a lot of custom stuff that I, he does a lot of detailed custom stuff that I never really got into. I just do a lot of hardcore painting. But he does a lot of detail work, and I know the work involved. Um, but Hank, I'm about to do some crazy things to this. If you could give me any pointers, that would be great. It's This is a Lambo yellow, Lambo canary yellow, um, with two coats of clear with gold. What did I put in here? Gold pearl. There's gold pearl over this, and it looks awesome already. I'm going to sand it down. Um, what grit should I sand down? when I put my graphics, give me some pointers, Hank. What grit should I sand it with? I just wanna know what you do. I'm just curious on what you do, Hank. Hank is the man. Hank, what should I do? This, there's two coats of clear on here with gold pearl. I wanna do some sort of ghost flames, maybe not even ghost flames, but something cool to it because I'm gonna turn it into a lamp. I was thinking sand with, you know, a thousand, thousand grit, and then do my work and then clear it. You know, I was thinking a thousand. I usually sand with a thousand, but I've heard people sanding with like 800 and clearing over. Is that, 
is that safe to do? Can you clear over 800 and not have an issue? I've, I've never tested that. So that's my question. Um, because I, I pretty much, you sand it, you do your outlining for your graphics, you get the airbrush or whatever you want to do. Six to 800 grit wet is what I do. So Hank, you could clear coat over 800 grit and it look no problem. Cause that sounds, that sound, if I can do 800, I would rather go 800 than a thousand. Give it more tooth for your clear coat to stick on. Because I've always used a thousand grit. Well, I know, well, my go-to grit before painting anything is 400 grit, you know, before base coat, you know, of primers or anything. I like to go over 400 grit, never had an issue. It's a good solid grit to paint over. But as far as flow coating and all of that, Hank, you're saying, Hank, you're saying, Hank, please do, please share it. Please share it. Everybody would benefit, including me. Um, so you're saying, Hank, 800 grit is safe for me to sand, paint my base graphics, and then my clear coat? Is that what you're saying? Because I will do that. Uh, I always went with 1,000 grit. Yes, 400 wet. 400 wet. I like to go wet. I like it wet. <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys are awesome. Okay, okay, Hank, I will test it out. Hank does some crazy stuff, guys. Like I seen the roof of his, one of his projects. And um, he gets into the details, man. Like, I don't think I have patience for what you do, Hank. Like that's hardcore. I wouldn't go any higher than a thousand because it may, yeah, uh, true, I agree, I agree. So you know what? I'm going to test out 800 on this, Hank. And if it doesn't work out, everybody on here knows who I got the advice from. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Anyway, I'm going to go with 800 like you said. I hope I even have 800. I might not even have 800. I got to get some sandpaper. Um, yeah, I, I use 1,000 as well. But I, I'm going to try 800. Maybe I'll go half 800, half 1,000. See if there's any difference. <laughs> I like my paint jobs wet. <laughs> my clear coat. I like my clear coat to lay on wet. Anyway, guys, let's jump back on next week, Thursday night. Send marks don't show after clear. Yep, I get it. I get it. Um, I just wanted to know what Hank did because I saw his custom stuff. Um, guys, let's join up. Um, we'll be on next week, Thursday. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe. Hit the bell button. Here is the links to the pub. Just want to drop a couple of links for you guys. Okay, here. Mr. Vega, have a good night. Hank, have a good night. Everybody have a good night. Here is the links to... Um, if you're interested in the Adam spray guns later, Kent, see you in the pub for sure. And here is the links for um, for learn auto body and paint. If you want to learn more about VIP, just click on just click on VIP up on the top navigation. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for being on. Um, I will see you on next week, same time. And keep your eyes open for new videos. They're going to be uploaded every week. Bits and pieces of the Daihatsu project, uh, as well as a bunch of new stuff that we're going to be doing this coming summer. I'm going to be taking more uh, input from you guys of what you want to see. Like, I'm, I'm, I have another project car here that I'm, I got. I got another Miata, guys. A junk car Miata just to do tests and paints and all kinds of crap on just for you guys. So we could spray different coats of bases. We could do fading. I'm going to purposely run 
and show you how to fix runs. I'm going to do, I'm going to like, I got this car for testing. So we're going to be doing all types of crazy stuff and we're going to be painting some shit this summer as well. So talk to you soon. Good night. I will see you later. Cheers.